welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do my March favorites. I'm about a week late with this, but I've been crazy busy traveling and just getting reacclimated with uh, just being back home. So anyway, I'm going to jump into this. I have a lot of products, a bunch of makeup, skincare, uh, and I threw in a couple of different fun little favorites. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get into it. So the first product I want to talk about is a body product and this is the Amazing Grace Whipped Body Cream and I have been obsessed with this cream. It's really hard to tell in here but I've used quite a bit of it. It was full to the top when I bought it and I use this every single day when I get out of the shower. I feel like it layers really well with my body wash that I've been using which is also from Philosophy and it's something that I love layering with not only my body wash but my perfumes as well. One thing I've noticed about the product is it really leaves my skin feeling hydrated and it doesn't feel dry at the end of the day. For that reason, I absolutely love the Amazing Grace Whipped Body Cream. So I'm going to talk about some hair products and the first one is from Rusk and it is the Heat Shift Restyling Cream. I really love this product because I was in the habit of washing my hair every single day and it was terrible for my hair, especially because I dye my hair quite frequently. And this has been doing wonders in conjunction with the other products that I've been using in my hair, which is my Pureology Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like this product because I can use it in my hair before I blow dry my hair, and then I'll notice that, you know, the next day if I want my hair to be straighter or if I want to curl it, I can go in and use this product and it will style the same way as if I just washed and blow dried my hair that same day. I think it's a really great idea. I know a couple of other brands have products like this, but in my opinion, this is the best one and it smells divine. So the next favorite that I have is actually something I got in my Ipsy or my Birch Box. I think it was my Birch Box. And it's called Oblifica. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. And it is a sea berry hair serum. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it does wonders to my hair. It does make it a lot softer. It's great when I straighten my hair or curl my hair, but more than anything, it just smells so good. It has this really nice kind of floral scent to it, but it smells really clean and fresh at the same time, and I love that. I'm kind of right here at the moment. Once I'm out of this, I'm definitely gonna repurchase it because my hair has never smelled better, and I've noticed that this scent lasts on my hair, so Definitely loving that serum this month. So before I go into cosmetics, I wanted to talk about my favorite scent for this month, and it was the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I love this perfume. I talked about it in my haul, my very huge collective haul, and it is amazing. All the Jo Malone fragrances, in my opinion, are so great because they can be layered with other Jo Malone fragrances or other fragrances in general. I will definitely be wearing it a lot throughout the spring. So I'm going to jump in with beauty and the first thing I wanted to talk about is the Veramona color switch and I just think this is a really cool staple to have in basically any beauty junkies makeup wardrobe only because I've noticed that sometimes when I have to do different eye looks and I don't have you know three or four blending brushes that are available to me at all times it's nice to be able to you know just grab a brush like this and just sort of swirl it in here and you'll notice that it completely eliminates that color on there. It might still be stained on the brush, so for that reason you'll definitely have to clean this brush off. But in terms of a quick fix, I think that's great, especially if you're going to be using the same brush to do different colors in one makeup look. I think it's definitely something every single person needs to have. I picked mine up from Namie's. Um, I know that you can get it at... Sephora now, so I definitely recommend looking into it. So the next tool I wanted to talk about is the Morphe G6 brush. I believe this is from their Gunmetal collection, and I've been loving this to apply my foundation. I've been using this a lot with the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation, and I just really like it because I feel like it makes my foundation go a really long way. I have been using the Artiste brush that I recently purchased as well, but I just prefer this one because I feel like it gives me a little bit more coverage in the areas that I need more coverage. This is just something that packs on a little bit more product, so for that reason, I have been loving this brush in the month of March. So talking about makeup, I'm going to start with the face and the first product. This is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. I don't think I've ever had a foundation that I love this much. So because I have oily to combination skin, I didn't think this was going to work out for me very well, but I have been pleasantly surprised. It has been combating the oil in my skin really well. It doesn't leave me shiny, it doesn't transfer, and I really, really love this foundation. So 
Definitely my favorite in March. I want to say for the 31 days of March, I feel like I wore this probably at least 15 days. And I probably wore foundation 20 days out of the 31 days. So that's saying something. That's like a solid 75% of March that I use this product and I will probably be using it all of April too. I love it. So the next product I wanted to talk about is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have mine in the color 310 Sun Beige and I have already hit pan on this powder. I love this powder. It has completely replaced my Benefit Hello Flawless powder and that's saying something because I've been a loyal customer to that one particular product from Benefit for about six or seven years now. The fact that I have such a great affordable drugstore option is wonderful because I think I mentioned this before and it's not to sound bougie but I have a very tough time finding drugstore products that don't irritate my skin just because of the type of skin I have. I have very sensitive skin when it comes to makeup or skincare and I definitely don't want to do anything to aggravate that. If you have sensitive skin and you are looking for an affordable powder, definitely check out the Maybelline Fit Me. I feel like they have a great color selection as well. They also have a liquid foundation and they have a concealer which I have used which I'm a fan of in terms of the consistency, the applicator not so much but definitely a great drugstore option. This entire line is phenomenal, so definitely check out the Maybelline Fit Me powder. So staying on the face product category, I wanted to talk about the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. I don't think this is a surprise to anyone just because I'm about five videos in here on YouTube and I've used this almost every single time. I love it. There's nothing bad to say about it. Aside from the fact that I wish they sold this damn color by itself. <laughs> I've had this palette for maybe over a month now and I've already hit pan on this color. Like what is that about? They don't sell these individually and I really really wish they did because that's literally the only color I use every single day. I mean don't get me wrong, I love these two contour shades. This highlight shade is great as well but just for my skin because I have a yellow undertone, the banana powder works wonders on me. That shade is called Lyric and I do wish they sold it individually. So if Kat Von D is listening to this video right now, which I doubt she is, but if she is, please send this powder to us individually. It would mean the world to, I think, everyone here on YouTube or in the makeup community. We need this powder by itself. Also another cheek product is this blush from MAC and it is Oh My, it is a satin finish powder blush. And I've been loving it. I recently got it in a MAC haul that I talked about. It was part of my collective haul as well. And it is just the most beautiful pinkish orange color. Like it's really funny because when I'm looking at it right now, it has like these tangerine reflex in it, but it looks pink on camera. So I can't really describe it to you. I will swatch it for you guys so you can see it, but it is just such a gorgeous spring blush and I have been loving it lately. I feel like it adds the perfect just flushed cheek to your makeup look no matter what you're doing, whether you're doing something bright or you're doing something more simple. I think it is a wonderful blush to have in your collection, especially for this time of year. So I haven't been highlighting too much. Uh, I have been doing it a little bit more than usual just because my skin has been clearing up. I don't know if I told you guys, but I have been doing these bioactive peels to my skin every two and a half to three weeks. And it's really helping to purge my skin of everything just from flying and, and whatnot. So because of that, I haven't been highlighting much because I've had a lot of texture, but what I do highlight, I generally use Wiss from ColourPop. So what I like about this highlight is it actually has a very interesting consistency. You can see it's very similar to that Champagne Pop color except it sort of has like this silver gold tinge to it, um, whereas Champagne Pop is very much gold based. It also even has a little bit of a pink undertone to it, which I really enjoy. So I will swatch it right here, and you can just see what a pigmented highlight that is, and it just looks beautiful on the skin. Because of the consistency, because it's like smoother and it's almost kind of like a cream highlight, it just glides onto your skin and it is so affordable. I believe this is either six or eight dollars and you really can't beat ColourPop's price point. They have such amazing products, such a wide variety of colors and textures and for that reason, this highlight has been doing it for me during the month of March. The next three products I'm gonna talk about are eye products. So I'm gonna start with the Ico Skinny Liquid Liner. 
the writing is completely off on mine because it is very, very well loved. This is just honestly the best. I can't even say anything about it because it is the best liquid liner I've ever used in my life. I keep trying out different liners, I keep trying out liquid liners and gel liners, but to me nothing will beat this and the funniest part of this product is I bought two skinny liquid liners since I got this one in my Birchbox last year. Those have dried up. This one for some reason is still going. This is nearly a year old so I need to toss it out obviously like it's not good to keep these eye products for that long. The fact that it is still going so strong is sort of ridiculous. It dries more of a matte finish, which is really nice, and it doesn't smudge. So the next product is a mascara, and this is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. It's sort of ridiculous to me how long it took me to come around to actually buying this mascara because the brush on it is everything. It is so amazing, it's so fluffy. It thickens your lashes, it makes them long. I, I love it. I think that it is such a versatile mascara, and I think it'll work on so many different lash types, short lashes, long lashes, curled lashes, straight lashes, you need this mascara. It is phenomenal. The last eye product I wanted to talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I just think that this product is wonderful for anyone who has thicker brows. The one thing I do prefer about the Brow Ways over the Brow Definer is the spoolie on this. I feel like the spoolie is too big. And I don't know if that's just me. I just have noticed that now when I use the spoolie to brush out my brows, any product that I've used right here will just sort of transfer up onto my forehead or transfer down onto my brow bone. And I'm not really a fan of that. I really wish that they had a smaller spoolie on here, but that is just my personal preference. Otherwise, this product is wonderful. So, been loving it for the month of March. And then the last two products that I have to talk about that are makeup related are lip products. The first is the Dose of Colors Bear With Me Liquid Lipstick. This is what I have on my lips right now. I adore this lip product. I just feel like it is such a pretty way to do a bright nude. And um, I know that's sort of an oxymoron, a bright nude, really. It's cool because when you look at it in the bottle, it really doesn't look like it's this color. And so it really surprises you. Even when you take it out, it looks like it's going to be very, very nude. And then you put it on, it dries in a way where it completely manipulates the color. So I've been using that for the month of March and just absolutely love Dose of Color liquid lipsticks. They are one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. I feel like they're not dry, they're not flaky, and they wear very comfortably on the lips. So definitely a favorite. The last lip product I wanted to talk about is the NYX Liquid Suede liquid lipstick in the color Life's a Beach. Life is a Beach. I love this color. I swatched it for you guys in my collective makeup haul and I just, I love this color. I think it is such a pretty bright spring color, but it very much reminds me of the blush I picked up from MAC. When I was in San Francisco, that is the only color I wore and I was there for two days. I mean, I guess that's not saying much, but I'm the type of person that changes her lip color like three times a day. When I was in SF, I ended up going to the De Young Museum in Golden Gate Park, and they had an Oscar de la Renta exhibit. And I went to the gift shop, and I checked out this book, and I thought it was so cute. It is called the Flip Fashion Designer Book, and I used to have a book like this when I was a kid, so I had to pick it up. It is adorable. So basically how it works is you have something like this and it has the model's face, it has a top, a bottom, and a shoe. So you'll have your just, ah, I feel like this is the best way to show you guys. So you will, can this thing like cooperate with me? Jeez. You basically can just flip through on each of the little flaps and change the face of the model, the top, the bottom, and the shoes. I just thought it was a really fun like coffee table sort of book to have, even though I don't have a coffee table because I live with my parents and I film in my room. And I just thought it was so cool to just keep on my vanity and just look at and just be inspired by. So definitely love this. I've gone through it a couple of times and just it's been inspiring me to do a little bit more with my wardrobe and just really branch out and try new things, especially for spring. So definitely been loving this. So another favorite for the month of March has been this bottle. I don't know what it's called, but I will link it for you guys down below. And it is just sort of an infuser bottle. You can basically 
take this, I'm trying to like make it not drip everywhere, but you can fill it up with the fruit of your choice. You can put lemons, I put oranges, cucumbers, strawberries, basil, just anything that you wanna infuse your water with. And you put it in here so that it doesn't, you know, sort of transfer out and trickle out into the water. And it constantly infuses your water with more flavor throughout the day. I've been all about having detox water lately and just trying to get back to being healthy. And especially this time of year, everyone should be drinking a lot more water. So it's just great to have the option of putting in a flavor. So I've had it for months now, but I recently rediscovered it because it like sort of went missing for a while and I found it again and I've been loving it. I drink water from this every single day. I just, I adore this bottle. So definitely check it out. And then the very last few products I wanted to mention to you, two of them are jewelry items. So I ended up picking up two rings because they had a really good deal on them. So I just picked up two different rings. One of them is this sort of like leaf design and I thought it was such a pretty ring. I'll show you what it looks like on the finger. You can ignore all the ugly swatches on my hand, but that is what it looks like and I think it's so pretty and so elegant and I just really liked how it looked on my hand. So I picked up that one. So the second ring was this ring right here and it is just a very simple thin band with something, I don't know if it's a real opal, I'm pretty sure it's not, but it sort of has that opalescent look to it. And opal is my birthstone so I was really excited when I saw this, I was like, ah, I need to get it. So that is what it looks like on my hand and I just like how thin it is. I think it's a very elegant, it's a very simple sort of dainty ring and I love jewelry like that. I've been really, really into softer, just really subtle jewelry lately. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about a candle. And um, anyone that knows me knows I have a little bit of a candle obsession. I'm, I'm a candle fanatic. The one that I've been loving recently is the entire Voluspa line, but this one in particular. And this one is called Mokara. It is from Voluspa, and it is Mokara Orchid. And orchids are my favorite flowers, so I had to get it. White Lily and Spring Moss. And it just smells so good. I <laughs> There's no other way for me to describe it. It just... It has that wonderful like strong lily scent, a really light sort of subtle orchid scent. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know what spring moss is supposed to smell like. When I think of moss, like I love what it looks like, but I don't really want to go smell it. So I don't know if that's good, but it's apparently in here and this smells bomb, so I'm gonna take it. Anyway, that is my entire uh, March favorites collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, comment what video you would like to see next, and also the look that I have on my eyes right now is something I already filmed. It is a holy inspired festival look. I thought it would be great for EDC or Coachella or anything like that. Um, it's just a really fun, bright, vivid look, and I was inspired personally by Holi, which is the festival of color in the Indian culture, so I just thought it would be nice to bring a little bit of that in there, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy that. That should be up in a couple of days. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.